my name is Sam Felton and welcome to Smash the Fat. Uh, now, on today's video I'm going to talk about barefoot running. Sounds crazy, I know, but I've had a lot of questions ever since I was on this Channel 5 programme called the 50 um, Shocking Facts About Diet and Exercise and <clears throat> I was talking about barefoot running on that um, and how um, healed trainers can actually negatively impact your knees and your hips and even your posture as well. Um, so I highly recommend barefoot running, um, but obviously not with just bare feet, um, especially in a city like London, that would be pretty crazy um, to do so. So I use um, barefoot shoes and trainers myself and I um, really uh, like a company called Vivo Barefoot. Um, now I've had my pair of Vivo Barefoot ones, as you can see here, for a long time, almost three years now, um, but it's absolutely incredible that the soles are still intact despite them just being a few millimetres thick, absolutely incredible. Um, but thankfully I have a new pair of Vivo Barefoots um, and I'm going to do a quick review of them today. Um, so here's the box, they're Vivo Barefoot uh, Stealths instead of the ones so slightly different. Um, first things off, you get a nice sort of introduction into uh, Barefoot running there. And then if we open up the box here, I got the Stealths in blue and black. Um, let me take these bits out, totally brand new. <laughs> um, so, um, as you can see, they almost look like pimp soles, almost, uh, maybe a bit more stylish. Um, but, um, as you can see here, if you look at the profile here, um, there's a really wide bit at the front. If you look at a lot of um, normal trainers, you'll see that they go with a wide heel to a narrower foot. Um, but barefoot trainers go quite the opposite. Um, they go from a slightly narrow heel, so it's a nice tight fit, to a wide foot, so that then when you plant your foot on the ground, your toes splay out like that. You get a lot more stability, and that positively impacts all the way up to your head through your posture, well, through your calf, hamstrings, all the way up your posterior chain, all the way up to your head. Um, so they look absolutely awesome, I can't wait to test them out. So there's only one thing to do now, is to get out there and properly test them. Alright guys, so I'm out here in the big open on this beautiful day, as you can see here, big blue sky. That's how I like it. Um, anyway, so first impressions are, as I'm walking, um, are the, they feel very similar to my old trainers, of course. There's a nice flat sole, really thin. You can almost feel, you can feel the ground, in fact. Um, and uh, they're a really nice fit. They probably hug my uh, heels a little more, uh, which I prefer, actually. It feels a bit comforting, in fact. Um, and uh, yeah, just as I am, walking and getting used to the trainers um, as I'm walking to where I'm going to be working out in just a second. Um, I just want to tell you guys that have been maybe running um, and walking in heel trainers for a long time that uh, when you are moving from heel trainers to uh, barefoot shoes there needs to be an adaptation period right there. Um, so when you do try out barefoot shoes or trainers, uh, you need to walk in them for around about six weeks and do some additional training, like jumping on the balls of your feet, some skipping is ideal for that. Um, and try and do that, you know, 10 minutes, three times a week, that sort of thing. So then you build up the endurance in your calves and also get used to landing on the ball of your foot because if you are using heel trainers, you'll be used to heel striking. Um, instead of uh, four foot planting, which is what 
we want you guys to do, which is a lot better for uh, your whole posterior chain from your calf, hamstrings and all the way up your back, just better for your posture and general well-being as well. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the workout. Alright guys, so uh, the workout today, uh, I'm going to do uh, 10 one-legged squats using my Z trainer, um, followed by uh, per leg, that is, uh, followed by 10 uh, Z trainer rows. Um, so, um, firstly, the one-legged um, split squats, so I come out a little bit, I've got my foot inside the Z trainer here and I go as low as I can go. Ideally I want it so that I create a 90 degree angle with my leg there, come back up, squeeze those bum cheeks tight, that's one, two, three, four, halfway, five. And the great thing about barefoot trainer shoes is as I'm pushing up I can really feel the toes pushing into the ground like if you wear heel trainers sometimes you can't really feel your foot pushing in to the ground like that okay that's 10 on the other side slip it inside like so then coming down make sure that your toes are hooking onto the handle if you're using a z trainer or any other suspension training system three, four, and as you're wearing barefoot trainers, you'll feel that your proprioception, so the feeling of your foot going from side to side, becomes a lot more improved, and you can feel your balance a lot more, it's a lot better. Good, that's ten. Going into those Z trainer rows. Back at 45 degrees, nice straight arms, bring it out one, two, three, good, one set down, and then give it about 60 seconds rest, then repeat that two more times, and then move on to the next round. Right, so round number two, uh, I'm going to be using the Z trainer again. Firstly, uh, I'm going to be doing 10 jumping squats, then followed by 10 chest flies. So let me show you that. So starting off, if I can grab it, uh, those 10 jumping squats. So again, you pick yourself up about 45 degrees, nice straight arms, squatting as low as you can. And then you're coming up and jumping right at the top. Always nice straight arms. So squat down as low as you can. And pushing off with the balls of your feet and landing straight back into it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good stuff. Um, so yeah, the great thing with barefoot trainers is that you can really feel your feet again pushing off of the ground, again with those heel trainers with really thick um, soles, you can't really feel the impact, and so the impact is taken by the um, soles of the trainer rather than your muscles, which is exactly what we want. Number two, chest fly, so you put yourself in a press up position, like so, and go out as wide as you can, one, nice tight core, Really bringing in the belly, sucking it right up into the spine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good stuff. Awesome. So the great thing with those flies, I couldn't really talk during it. Um, the good thing with those flies is that you're having to stabilise your shoulders a lot. You're really having to keep everything nice and tight, core nice and tight, really going out wide. And as time goes by, you can get lower and lower. To make it easier, you just put yourself at an angle, like so. It makes it a little bit easier, like so. Cool. 
Well, that's it for uh, my review of the Vivo Barefoot Stealth, an absolutely brilliant uh, trainer. Um, so I highly recommend getting those if you're looking into getting into uh, barefoot running. There's also a woman's um, version as well, um, but I don't only just have the Vivo Barefoot Stealth, I also have um, the Gobies, which are just a uh, regular looking, outgoing shoe for uh, meetings, um, going out with friends, and even going night clubbing as well. And that's the great thing about Vivo Barefoot, is that they have a whole range of shoes, uh, ranging from running shoes, trail shoes, hiking boots, wellington boots, um, and normal lifestyle shoes as well that you can wear, wear day to day um, and not look at like a complete weirdo walking down the street with sort of five individual toes as well. Um, so if you want to check out the whole range of Vivo Barefoot go to smashthefat.com forward slash Vivo Barefoot and then you can check out the whole uh, men's and women's ranges there. So until next time guys be well and of course smash it out. Hey guys, so uh, I just wanted to do a quick 30 second review of the uh, Gobi lifestyle shoes that I've got just as I'm on the way to the cinema. Um, so as you can see here, they look like totally normal shoes, if not, as I was talking about earlier, just a little bit wider on the toe bit, um, but they're fantastic um, shoes uh, that enable you to look normal on a night out. Um, and uh, still walk, walk barefoot and all that. Cool. All right, guys. Well, see you on the other side.